All right, everybody, we're kind of switching gears just a little bit. We're going to do just a little bit of a, a taking apart video today. Um, this is another telephone from uh, Argentina. It's a uh, what I believe is a standard electric model TLF 300, which is <clears throat> very similar to the uh, the German VTAP 611. This is what I believe is from 1981. And those, this was made for the Intel or Impresa Nacional uh, Telecom de Telecomunicaciones of Argentina. Argent uh, the Intel was the uh, state-owned telephone company uh, until it was privatized in 1990. So uh, this telephone obviously was, I think, 81, so it was before it was privatized. A little fun fact about uh, the Intel is that in Argentina, it took about 15 to 25 years to get a uh, <clears throat> phone line installed in your house. And then once it was privatized, you could bump that down to maybe 15 days. So, uh, you know, in the, the years of Intel, there were less telephones than there were uh, families in, in a typical city like Buenos Aires. So let's uh, take a look at the phone here. I have the cover loose. Um, I was lucky enough to find this on eBay. It's uh, It came from Miami, Florida, so I didn't have to worry about any international shipping uh, or any extra charges. So uh, <clears throat> once I saw it on online on, on the website, I uh, went and took the opportunity to purchase one. Uh, I know I already have one in this color, but I thought I would give you the opportunity to kind of have an idea of what this looks like. I know this phone doesn't look like much to you all, and you know, granted it would be nice if it was a red phone or the green one or something, but this is the standard gray. You can tell it's sun, uh, sun, quite suntanned, so I've been, you know, near a window where the sun shine on it a lot. <clears throat> so, looks a lot, a lot like a VTAP 611. It's got a uh, very, very late standard electric dial, which are, like in Italy, for example was the uh, face standard. So uh, my other uh, TLF 300 has the one you could take apart. This one has the one where it's uh, sealed shut. So um, I'm gonna have to use the pin oiler to get it oiled. But I did take a look on the inside of the phone. Let me kind of turn it around for you. You could tell the difference. <clears throat> Here's a close look at the dial. I do have a dial uh, center cover for this, so uh, I don't have to worry about going with that one on this telephone. And uh, plungers are there. It's 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 a mess, basically. It's dirtier than the uh, other one I got like, last year. <laughs> Actually, the year before, because I was here last year. Um, it's also missing the little nut here where the screw is, so this screw it doesn't go in all the way without it. And you can tell it's loose. Dial is uh, need oiling. It's supposed to be kind of like I don't know, not it's definitely not an ASMR video, but uh, you can kind of just have a visual. I need to get one of those special mics so I can do that. <clears throat> this little cover here, you could take it out and actually put in one of those mother-in-law receivers. It's the exact same as a VTAP six hundred one. This actually comes out. I'm not gonna mess with that, I don't wanna break it. But you can stick a mother law receiver in there because there's contacts behind this. So yeah, cords are in good shape. I'll show you um, on their cords, they have engraved in their cords, Intel. And same thing with their, uh, where did I see it? Their handset cord. It's also here. Okay. And let me go ahead and take the cover off. Now I didn't look closely, but there might be a thing stuck in here. Yep. So it's a standard electric. So it's a automatic telephone. It's a unified model. They don't tell you the model number on this. And there's nothing else on that side. But you can see that there's black stuff there, and I'll, I'll explain what that is. So, with these cheap dials, 
if you mess with these phones too much, they'll break off the little holders. So whoever had this phone before used some tape to hold the dial in. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to repair the holder for this dial. You can tell it's not in street either. <clears throat> the PC board is very similar to a FeeTap. You know, they're gonna use their own capacitors and everything. And uh, some of them don't have this kind of shape where there's an arch. Some of them are like really skinny and they'll go right across and there will be nothing that goes all the way down here. There's a clear plunger. That's the, the hook switch there. Then what we'll go ahead and do is uh, we'll take this apart. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide these little holders up from the, there we go. This tape is, this stuff is nasty. Even off all kinds of sticky, sticky stuff, but you can see <laughs> yeah, they, they still have the little things in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dish soap and uh, clean this up a bit. It's an, it's nasty. So we can go ahead and take this out. Just like the feed taps, these come out with the little plugs. And there's a close look at the dial here. You can see the nasty uh, adhesive coming off on my hands. There's the dial. This looks like a 19, this is a 1979 dial from April. And I can't tell what this is. Okay, this says, uh, this is Intel over here. You can't really see it, but it's molded into the plastic. I'll give you a look at uh, the workings. So this whole cover here for those who have not seen these, they are welded shut. You know, it's plastic weld welding. There's like there's like a post here, here, and here. And I don't know what they do, but they're sealed shut where uh, even to open the phone, you have to pry this, you have to pry this off and it'll break off. So I try to avoid it, but sometimes these dials are so just cheaply made it's not like they expected you to uh, know how to repair these you know, year, years later because, you know, you'd know that they would eventually upgrade to something more modern without these dials anymore. So they didn't really expect these to be repairable. But I do the best I can to get these working as best as possible. I, I personally like the other dials where it's the, the metal holder here and you can screw them off. I don't, I don't like these dials as much. They're kind of, uh, kind of obnoxious to work with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tape off, okay? And we are going to set that on the floor. Took all the way, so is it? That's what's left of the uh, adhesive there. So it's gonna need a, it's gonna need a clean. That's nasty. But what can you do? Mess with these phones too much, you end up breaking little, little, little things that stick out here where you stick it in the little thing. But that's the dial. I'm gonna set that apart. I'm also gonna put these. I don't know where to put these, but I'll set those on. Here's a look at the bell. So you can see that it is uh, a 1981 bell, similar. Similar look uh, style of bell as well. Has the clapper here. It has a different pitch than the FeeTap 611s. So you saw the gray FeeTap 611 I posted uh, earlier this week to kind of, kind of compare. The bottom has no sticker on it. So they must have ripped it off or it fell off. This, uh, this adjusts the bell so that it's set it loud, you know, 
indicated by the bigger bell. And then you can see all four of the feet are missing. So I don't know what happened to those. So I'm gonna go have to find something to, to replace it. That's gonna be interesting to find one. I'll also show you, I was disappointed before when I had my other, when I got my other telephone of this model two years ago that didn't have a plug. Well, this one has a plug on it, however. This time it's a single prong. I know they also had another plug for uh, Intel, which had like three prongs. And the style of it was, the prongs are almost similar to an Australian, except, you know, they didn't come out long ways. It kind of, you know, you had like the plastic here and they came out like this, you know. It's like, I think it had three prongs, but this is the single prong. I know my other, uh, my Bakelite one, has a single prong plug as well. So this must have been, I don't know. But that's what this one has. Yeah. And now we'll take a look at the workings of the handset. So this, show you there. That little circle there, it says SE, a standard electric. And you also have wrapped around there, Industria Argentina. And that is the, uh, that's the receiver. And then now I'll show you what the transmitter looks like. Ah, this looks familiar to all my American telephone collectors. Looks very similar. I think this is what is called a T1. This one is also made by Standard Electric. As you can see, it's Industria Argentina. And of course, the reason why they look similar is because Standard Electric was uh, ITT Corporation. So that's where you see the similarities. So yeah. These things are getting away from me right now. <clears throat> So now, so yeah, so for my people who don't know how to open a VTAP 611 as far as getting to the cords, it's going to be very similar because it's basically a similar model, and that's Argentinian. So those VTAP 611s, they open up like this to get to the cords. So the bottom, the bottom uh, screw here releases the cover of the, the the housing and this top one here will only take this off so now you have your two cords underneath and all you need to do is always on the right side from this perspective is the handset cord and the left side is the line cord and you'll know which side it goes where is this little part here is wider than this one. So if you try to put the line cord on this side, it wouldn't be a problem, but you wouldn't be able to fit in this one because it's too wide. So all you need to do is, I don't know how easy this will be. You could take like a flathead screwdriver here and you kind of turn, turn a bit to help loosen it. I think it'd be easy doing this. These ones seem to be a bit tighter. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the quality. The quality is not as good on these telephones. But that releases the handset inline cord. So now what we can do is, uh, since we're at it, we can remove the PC board. There are two screws, one here and one here. All you need to do, of course, is loosen them as far as you can feel it go. This one isn't going to behave today. It's tight. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> Yeah. 
This is really, really tight. Uh, come on, there we go. Okay, so now I got those loose. Flip it over, and the screws will come out. Just set them in the little cap or something. What you need to do in this one is push it. See, I can't remember, it's been a while. So now that those are loose. Okay, so pull it forward, and then make sure you raise it up on the back here. You know, this one's being a little... Okay, there you go. That was a bit of an ordeal. I had to pause a bit. This is what the PC board looks like. For those of you who know your FeeTap 611s, this one's probably going to be a little different to you all. Show you closely here. Yeah. It's actually pretty clean too. I'm surprised. Usually these are a mess. And now, all you have left is the bell. So what we'll do, this will be the last thing we'll take out, is the bell. Okay, here's the bell. Single gong. This is a 1980. So yeah, so this is the um, standard electric TLF 300, basically in pieces. This is what it looks like uh, taken apart. So nothing different than a FeeTap 611. Now over in Argentina, they also made these by Siemens as well. And then Siemens has been in Argentina for probably the since the middle of the uh, 19th century so they had been around a long time but then again this one here is a standard electric the Siemens models are very uh, pretty much the same except they did use actual Siemens dials and they were a bit more better quality than uh, than these uh, Cheaper standard electric dials. I think at least the ones in the 80s were only made by standard electric. The earlier ones, at least from the early 70s and on, a little bit later, were the Siemens. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, hope it was informative. Probably nothing any different for my... Uh, Collectors across the pond who know their VTEP 611s with their German telephones. 
It's going to be very similar. Only really anything different is the dial. But everything else goes uh, pretty much as the VTAP 611 does. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, more videos that are coming, of course, I will uh, I will uh, post a video of the final checkout. So I hope you have a great uh, rest of your day. And thank you very much for watching.